there are features that Apple tells you about. Then there's features that Apple doesn't tell you, but most people know. Then there's features that barely nobody knows. And then there's these features. These truly are hidden features for iOS 14. Let's go, baby. What is going on, guys? My name is Nikki, is also known as the Lemon Boy. Just a quick reminder, I will be giving away an iPhone 12 whenever it's released over on my Instagram. The only rule that it will be is just go follow me on Instagram. So if you want to be early for the giveaway, you know what to do. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be telling you my 15 favorite hidden features in iOS 14. There are so many hidden features, but honestly, most of them are pretty irrelevant for our daily lives. In this video, I'm just going to tell you the ones that actually matter. All right, let's kick things off with the brand new hidden album feature. Inside of the Photos app on iOS 13, you had a hidden album in your photos app right and then they were supposedly like secret photos but then somebody could come in your iphone and see the hidden album so they could just tap and then see your hidden photos so it's not technically hidden photos but now with ios 14 you actually have a toggle inside of settings that will hide your hidden album so like your hidden album will be actually hidden Hopefully that made sense. It's amazing. So as I showed you with my main iOS 14 features video, which by the way, if you guys haven't checked it out, you guys can check it out right here. Those are like the main Apple features that Apple talked about and how to make the iOS 14 actually really useful. Definitely recommend that video. I said that when people call you, you'll now get a banner instead of the full screen um, notification. If you don't like the small banner, you can actually go to settings and get a full screen banner, which is maybe what people want. I showed some of my family members and they're like, wow, that is too small. I want the full thing. So if you're one of those people, which I don't understand why I like the small banner like this, it doesn't interrupt what I'm doing. You can go ahead and do that through settings. This is a very cool one and definitely one of my favorites. So if you go inside of settings and camera, you'll see an option that toggles your volume up and volume button for video and burst, which means when you open up the camera app, if you press up, you'll get the burst. And if you hold the volume down button, you'll actually start a video recording. That is just... That is just mind blowing for, for the camera fans, for people that love taking photos and video with their iPhone. This is mind blowing. Did you know that if you actually hold those dots on the home screen and go left and right, you'll actually go way much faster within your home screen. Siri is now smarter with iOS 14 because you can now send voice messages through Siri on iMessage. So it's pretty cool. You just say, send a voice message to Amor. Hello, I am testing out the iOS 14 feature that lets you use Siri and voice messages. Um, send. Now with iOS 14, you can zoom a lot more inside of photos. So if you want to see a detail of a specific photo or how horrible my skin is, you can do it and it's awesome. I showed you this on my previous iOS 14 video, but everybody was like mind blown that I just have to show you again because it truly is a hidden feature. Inside of accessibility, touch and back tap, you can program to back tap to do your iPhone to a specific task. For example, I've got mine that whenever I back tap, I get a screenshot, which is awesome. You just, it's so cool to show this to people. Literally show this to your friends people will be mind blown. So inside of the alarm app, whenever we're choosing a new alarm, um, people think that you can only choose the, the actual time with the actual keypad, but you are actually wrong. I mean, you're right, you can do it with a keypad, but you can also swipe like we previously could because me before, I honestly thought we could only do this and I didn't really like the mechanism. So it's cool that we can just, you know, swipe up and get the right number that we want. Here's a trick for the Apple Music fans like me. If you open up music and then you double tap on search, you'll get the keyboard right away before you would have to click search, you would have to go on the top, you would have to type in something and then you would have to search. Now it's just double tap, look up something and then by the way, while you're on that, go follow me on Apple Music. I've got the best playlist in the entire world. You're welcome. The weather app got a very small but very useful new feature. So previously, when you wanted to check the weather of a city, you would have to search the city and then add the city and then you would have to look but at it. But now with iOS 14, you can just search and then you can just look at it and you don't have to actually add it to your weather library. You can just look at it and appreciate how sunny it is in Bali and how I wish I was in Bali now. Wow. Jeez, now I want to go to Bali. When you're shooting video now, before you actually start recording, on the top right, you'll be able to change the frames per seconds just a tap away. Previously, on iOS 13, you would have to go inside of the settings app and then, you know, tap on the camera and then tap on the frames per second. Now it's just a tap away, which is like 
I'm incredible. Inside of notes, when you're sketching something, I'm personally a bad drawer, so my triangles don't look like triangles and my circles do not look like circles. Now, if you actually draw a circle and you hold, you'll get a perfect circle. If you draw a triangle and you hold down the triangle, you'll get perfect shapes which is incredible. People were mind blown at this feature when I mentioned it in the video, but picture in picture, you can actually hide it. Whenever you're playing video in the picture in picture, people think that you can just zoom it in, um, put it small, put it big, but you can actually just hide it. Same with FaceTime. If you're FaceTiming somebody and you just wanna look, take a look at the screen, you can just swipe it um, right and you can actually hide that person. So yeah, those are it. Those are my 15 hidden features inside of iOS 14. I'm sure I missed a bunch, but those are my personal favorites. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.